cricket is oh, I just love the sharing, man. I love the sharing. I always say it, he does, but it's like brother don't know what he's opened up here, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just the family, the linkage, and just the work. As I said, he's just many of us have got the battens now and just like running with it and you're killing it, sis. And I really appreciate your study, your independent study and research, you know what I'm saying? And then allowing and opening it up because I'm a student just as much as I'm a teacher and educating. I'm learning as I'm sitting there reasoning with you as well, man. So I really appreciate your sharing. Um, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot, man. I don't even know where to go. But where I do want to go is that I know you're in Mexico. And I'm curious. Yeah. You know, I used to do the retreats in Mexico and you're there. And I know a few other people there doing things. Like, what's the climate like over there, man? Why are you there? What's going on in Mexico? And what, are you living there now or are you, are you there traveling? Well, I, I'm here, I'm down here kind of traveling slash living here. Um, you know, I, I'm actually uh, near the NACDI, uh, Native American Church of Turtle Island. And, um, you know, I, I've actually been down here. Um, Mama Yana is going to have Food of the Gods this year in July. Um, so, you know, I really want to invite people to go to her retreat um, in July. Um, some of my students are going to come down to Oaxaca, but we're just going to meet up. We're not even going to take entheogens really. Um, I'm going to teach people more about uh, how to work with mimosa hostilis root bark um, and also how to connect with certain plant medicine spirits that aren't hallucinogenic because I, I have a lot of plant medicines that are just my friends, you know, ones for focus, ones for mental clarity, uh, ones that help you sleep better at night, some that can help you to connect with your ancestors in your sleep, you know, so basically helping people to use their senses, you know, sense camp. Like imagine if you were to program the TCM system into your DNA, like instead of having to look up every time, okay, that yellow plant over there works in the gut. Now you instantly know it because you've taken the mushroom and a microdose, looked at a plant and you've memorized uh, just the basic five elemental laws, five organs, five elements, five tastes, five senses, you know? So I, I really wanna help people to learn how to heal their bodies. Um, using certain plasma energies that are generally color coded because we know we see rainbows and stuff on mushrooms but nobody likes to talk about the fact that the colors you see on plants actually do have meaning you know so if you see a yellow plant it works on the gut you know it works on uh, the gallbladder uh, even the Mayan Amen you know A-H-M-E-N worked with plants based on their advanced appearance the leaf shape the leaf texture the color of the leaf um, the way it tastes, you know, and each thing actually cor correlates scientifically to an alkaloid that's a bitter alkaloid that might cleanse the liver or heal the heart, maybe something sweet because, you know, very few sweet things are actually poisonous. That's why, you know, the first thing that you encounter that's sweet is your mother's milk because it's supposed to be benign, you know, so helping people to reconnect with what their bodies are capable of in nature is really what I'm about down here, you know, and uh, work with Cambo medicine and cleanse and then open up their senses. Because when you work with Cambo for the first time and you get rid of candida yeast, you can taste more. And that's what I was so curious about. I was like, okay, I did Cambo for the first time and now my taste came back like I was a little kid. I could eat a strawberry and the strawberry tastes like candy again. I could eat, you know, something gross, you know, or, or something like, uh, you know, greasy meat and then taste all the disgusting parts of it too, you know? Um, so for me, it was reconnecting with my senses, like my sense of smell, my, my sight, what I can do with human sight, what I can do with human taste, what I can do, uh, with, uh, human hearing and expanding that to mean something different because I know 300 years from now, what we think means to see isn't going to be the same thing. What we think means to taste isn't going to be the same thing. As soon as they put chips in people's heads, <laughs> you're going to have, you know, all sorts of varieties of experiences of sense pleasure. Um, and I, I say that lovingly because I think it's kind of cool. It's like Elon Musk is planning to use Neuralink, you know, uh, it's an advancement, but at the same time, we're already advanced. We just have to activate the technology. And a lot of people don't want to go through the levels of cleansing or healing that it takes for you to activate um, those human experiences that are A level, you know, for you to be able to eat, you know, and taste the, the love that went into your food and maybe uh, here, but not just here in your local environment, here telepathically in other places, um, hear someone's voice from 10,000 miles away, you know, 
and actually know what they're saying, you know, and be able to accurately translate it. So doing more with the human. Yeah. Look at this. So um, what you're what you're making me feel, yeah, I'll, I'll just share it, man. Like there's a lot of people out here, man, that are faking the funk. I just keep it funky, man. And um, you just know when people are putting in work, you know when people are doing the work, been studying, navigating and coming back and then gifting the world with that with that wisdom where there's some people just jumped in the game, have been in there for a few minutes and, you know, they're, they're doing it all, you know, they're doing it all. And I, I know you're, you're putting in the work, sis. I just don't know you're putting in the work. So um, I know you do courses and stuff, man. And I've seen them promoted on online yourself, but... I want to now let people find out how they can access you, man, because you're gonna. I know you're gonna kill it. People gonna be like, "Yo, D, how do I find this sister? Where is she at? When are you bringing her to the UK? All of that type of good stuff." So between that and me getting to Mexico and coming hanging out with you as well, how do we in between all of that time people find you, man, and access your courses and learn more about what you're doing? Thank you so much. You know, um, uh, when I share my courses, it's just things that have interested me over the last, you know, I don't know. The short time I've been here, you know, I've only been here for 25 years. So, um, so over the past 10 years and, um, you guys can find me at Akashic Thunder. That's my, that's my moniker on, uh, facebook.com backslash Akashic Thunder. That's my link. So if you want to send me a message, say hi. Um, I'm on Instagram as tree girl and uh, Akashic Thunder on Instagram. And uh, my classes are called Divine Master Alchemy. And I just tell stories like, you know, like uh, Angelica or, or uh, Shatavari or, you know, Spike Nar. I tell epic stories about, you know, how ancient uh, plants, you know, of legend, you know, the, the plants that were used to anoint Jesus' feet, you know, what, what, what's their story? What do they do? And how do they, how can they heal your body? You know, um, so just, plant medicine in general, but specifically the ones that have really cool ancient stories. Those are the ones that our class focuses on. And this year we're doing the Old Mecca Red Road journey. So I'm focusing on transformational states like um, the Old Mecca, uh, Old Mecca Were Jaguar and uh, the Old Mecca uh, Falcon Warrior and the Eagle Warrior and connecting with the uh, indigenous spirits of the Nahua or the shapeshifters. Um, so, that's what this class is about. Cool, sis. Really appreciate you sharing what you're doing. So, look, I know we've been trying to make this happen for a while, man, and we finally aligned. I truly hope that we can make, we can re-up sooner rather than later and follow it up with just where you're at, some of the updates. And then I've got more off the back of this. I've got more interest in learning about the crystal technology itself. Some of the sharers, like you said, that bubble was able to impart on you. And maybe we can chop it up again, you know, in the very near future. But um, before we do, um, cool, man. Um, but yeah, is there anything else you'd like to share, sis, man? Like just, you know, you know, you're getting out to the world. Like we're getting out to the community that knows who we are and what we're doing. But I'm really trying to touch base and, you know, open this conversation and dialogue up to those who are naive to all of this, man. The whole idea was that not many people, when you type psychedelics, when you type Cambo, you know, you're not going to see somebody who looks like you, sis. You're not going to see many people who look like me, man. So I want people to see more of this, these kind of dialogues taking place. So not to put you on a spot, you don't have to, but, you know, is there anything that for our people, for people in general, it's not just for our people, but because I know other people are appreciating seeing us and our people dialogue and have these conversations, man. So just be, and then we can wrap it up from there, man. Well, um, as always, I just want to give thanks um, to Baba Kalindi and his family. Mama Ayana is the truth. She's really awesome. She's putting on a retreat. You guys should go to it. It's in July. Hit her up on the messenger so you can sign up. It's Bufo, uh, Toad Medicine, and then like I think 20 grams of mushrooms. Um, and then also you can schedule times in front of the Palantir with Mama Ayana. Um, also, for the folks who have brain fog and think that mushrooms uh, dim the mind, I'm a nerd, a science geek. <laughs> so um, I really like herbs that help mental clarity on an even higher level than what people consider to be normal. So intellect tree seed is a really undervalued, underrated entheogen, in my opinion. And I'm gonna argue that it's an entheogen because of the fact that I've taken it by itself and had internal visions, no open eye visuals or closed eye visuals, but I've been able to connect with things that I have forgotten 
you know, even real time, you know, from my childhood past, I could listen to a song and then connect to the first time I heard the song, what I was doing when I heard the song, what people were around me and what the conversations were like. And that's something that I've never been able to do by myself. So I know that it has some sort of entheogenic reaction in the brain. It contains an alkaloid named Celastrin that is under-researched. It needs more research. Um, intellect tree seed, but it's also in the area of the Himalayas where dementia doesn't exist. So if you have memory loss or mind fog via psychedelics, which is pretty common because sometimes you know, doing too many psychedelics can cause serotonin imbalance after a really long time. So Griffonia helps 5-HT. Griffonia, um, it, it contains 5-HTP or, or, you know, the precursor to serotonin. And it's a, a really great plant medicine to take after your mushrooms so you can get enough sleep. So you don't feel like you're wired and you're, you can't go to sleep after your trip. Um, it really helps you on your come down. Um, I've had a lot of people contacting me saying that they had brain fog, insomnia after mushrooms. Um, also body aches and fatigue can be, um, you know, not having enough tryptophan in your diet, not having enough choline in your diet can cause body aches and also lack of motivation. And also if you have lack of motivation, if you if you need a little bit of extra help, uh, there's a plant called Mucuna purians that contains L-DOPA. Um, and L-DOPA is a phenylethylamine that um, is a precursor to dopamine. And so you can't really take too much of mucuna because it's not actually giving you dopamine. So you can't actually become addicted to mucuna or anything of that nature. But if you feel like you've, you know, lost uh, um, some sort of passion for your daily life, I noticed that when I take Iboka in a microdose and then take a little bit of mucuna purians because Iboka resets the dopaminergic system. Um, so if you, you know, if you're um, really uh, just irritated with the repetitiveness of your life, it can bring, you know, like a, a new freshness because your, your brain has the right neurochemical slurry to, to help you be happy naturally without you having to look for, you know, cigarettes or alcohol or some sort of detrimental form of stimulation. Nice, big up, big up, big up. So um, I'm on the eve, sis, of my seven weeks from non-smoking of cannabis. And um, I don't know if after the eighth week, which I set myself a target with, that I'm going to need to be coming to see you because one thing I've always looked for is clarity, man. That's always been my intentions. And oh, yeah. was... <laughs> All right. So, you know, I might come to you just for, you know, to get an understanding of my dosages and the best way to start approaching it, man, because this has been a big part of just getting the clarity just so then I can focus you know to do to do the work that i need to do so i really appreciate that sharing it i've personally got something from that too so um cool. once again sis, mm -hmm. just big up yourself yeah as i said it's just from from afar i've been watching i know many people are appreciative of your work you know the research that you're doing i've seen you stand on the stage you're a warrioress in your own right you're killing it and i really can look forward to supporting you in any capacity that i can from where i'm at and like i said in the near future we'll get you over here and in the near future, I'd like to be over there, man, and just, yeah, connecting somewhere or another, man. So I'd just like to say, enjoy your day, the rest of your day. I look forward to connecting again soon, man. It's a great honor to speak with you, and I, I just thank you for the opportunity to share. Thank you. All sis, man. All of stay blessed. All right. Peace.